Davis here and today I'm going to show you the FPV Freerider Simulator. Um, if you're like me and you fly mini quads, uh, sometimes it's not the best weather outside to fly or you want to show somebody how mini quads fly but you don't want to let them use yours for fear of crashing it or breaking something. Um, I've used Real Flight Simulator before and there are no good mods that actually have realistic feeling quadcopters, let alone racing mini quads. <clears throat> um, Phoenix RC has quadcopters, but that only includes the Phantom uh, and a few others, the QX350, I think, uh, the Blade. But uh, this is the closest you're going to get to a real mini quad simulator. And as you can see, there are four maps. I'll just show the desert here. You have the option to choose acro or self-level mode, high rates and low rates. I'm just going to fly as is. Uh, currently in acro mode, there's your mini quad doing its thing. Acts as if any mini quad would act. Um, but if you change cameras, you can fly FPV. And it is actually a pretty exciting experience for an early mini quad flying simulator. Um, you know, you can fly around like you normally would and crash like you normally would. So there I just crashed, but a better example. Let me hit this. Oh. Well, you can see the bugs haven't really been worked out, but you know, you can practice your acro flying, get your stick movements down for flips and rolls and such, uh, practice self-level, move on to acro. I'm actually teaching somebody else how to fly acro with this right now. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good representation of what FPV is like. Um, yeah, I'll just, we'll take a look at the other maps. Uh, you got the island right here, which is more of a, it's it's just an island with lots of trees, so if you want to practice some close quarters flying and going between trees if you like, oh, look at there, I just did that, uh, or you just like the way the landscape looks, I mean, you can, you can fly however you want. Uh, let's go to another map, this is the meadow, <coughs> um, yeah, it's, it's a meadow, same deal. And last but not least, we have the playground, which is really not my favorite. I kind of just like the desert map, but uh, there you go. That is that is FPV Freerider. Um, not only that, but you can use the Tyrannus radio. You can use a real flight radio. You can use USB dongle radios. It's all pretty much compatible. Um, if we go into custom settings here, you can set your throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll, uh, everything but PIDs, really. And you can change the mass, so if you have a heavier copter you want to fly, or a lighter copter, you can. Set your drag, everything you want to do to make it more realistic, you can do that. Um, uh, that's pretty much it. It's only $5 from the maker of the game, and I'll put a link in the description below where you can get a demo version, which includes the desert. Um, you can't adjust anything, but you can fly uh, acro mode, self-level mode. You can try the FPV experience on the simulator if you like. Uh, yeah, it's all around pretty good for five bucks. The cost of a couple broken props, and you get to fly all day long or all night long, whatever you want to do. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.